crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It is a cold one today. I think it's currently about 12 degrees. And this could be 12 degrees of insanity, but I wanted to get outdoors and enjoy the property a little bit. I don't think I've done this in a couple years. We've owned the property four or five years and I have never stepped foot here. This is gonna be fun to check out. All right, I think this is gonna be the crunchiest video I've ever made and I apologize about the audio. So what I am looking for is this. This is a cliff that overlooks a glen looking onto Floyd's Fork, which is a 40 foot wide stream, which surrounds a large portion of the property. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we push a buck or two out. This is pretty cool. So my goal for the day is to get down to the, near the water there. And then I want to try to walk along the cliff. I really literally don't have any idea how steep the cliff is. I've never been here. Yeah, this is cool. The first thing I'm noticing is it's really nice because I have other cliffs and it's filled with dishwashers and car parts and all the garbage that farmers would throw over the edge just to get rid of trash 50, 60 years ago and hope that the stream would wash it down the river. Not my problem then, right? We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we have a, a clean cliff here without any trash on it. So I've made it to one of the edges of the property and you can see the whole field up here to the back, which is just, open and wide, probably needs to be bush hogged this year. And then off to this side, it's all tree line. So let's get into this wild bush I've never been in before. First steps is finding and locating the barbed wire. There it goes, down through the trees. I think we're gonna just dip under it. This is wild. Right there is a second run of barbed wire and a whole lot of pricker bushes. So my neighbor has done a beautiful job clearing his side out, but my side on the other hand is a little more wild. I wanna get down by the water and just see how it goes. Ah, so it looks like we found the survey marker just below it. You can see it there with the orange cap. And look at this nice little glen. Looks like the water's running pretty good. Not too shabby. And I think I'm gonna follow the deer trails. That ought to help me stay out of the pricker bushes. Let's go see what we can find. Aha! I think we found something. Wow, look at this. This is gonna be my first challenge. Oh my. So, we've got a little spring head up at the top. It's a little mushy, but obviously a lot of groundwater is getting pulled in there and probably coming under the limestone as well. But it is running a little stream out here that I never knew that I had this stream. That's running at a pretty good rate. My next question is, how the heck do I cross it? That's gotta be 15 feet deep. Here's a deer trail running down to it, but I don't know if I could get up on the other side. All right, I'm gonna pick this as my point of stupidity to get to the other side, like a chicken. And if I don't make it, just don't bother to watch any other videos. But I hope you keep coming back for more. Let's go. Ow, prickers. Wow. Ah. All right, we're dedicated now. Victory! How did the deer do that? Oh, and we are in such a nice field now. That's a big bone. No idea what that was connected to. Maybe I'll find some antler drops around here. That'd be cool. Let's keep going. As you can see, we're kind of hitting a hill here and I'm gonna stay to the low side, down by the water. One of my favorite things about winter is how you can see through the foliage. It's just awesome being able to see all the property you have. Like this T-post in the middle 
of nowhere. So what was it connected to? I have no idea. But I think it'll stay there a little while longer. <laughs> this just suddenly got really, really steep. I'm gonna have a choice to make here. Slide down the hill into the water, or just go down to the water and walk up. Or get up into the middle of the hill. Ah, it's like, I don't think I can win this one either way. <laughs> I think I'm gonna choose middle of the hill. That way I am uh, halfway closer to anything I see up the hill. I'll catch you in a minute if I find anything. I think I found our first old iron artifact. And first up is a party chair. This might be a great spot to sit with a rifle for a deer on the far side. And this might have been the chair the hunter used. Still here. Hey, I just need a new cushion. I might take this just to relax, tell you a story a little later on. Huh, not bad. Well, this is just my lucky day. I might get a full furniture set out of this. Besides my chair. Looks like I got a table. Well, I think I'll let the wood go. What is this? I mean, it's almost like, I have no idea. It's got a hanging pad on the foot down here on both sides. It had some plywood on it, it brought it off. Oh, well, I should have put this together. Oh. Uh, it's some type of work sign. Pretty rough. It's frozen. Men working. I don't know what they were doing back on this hillside. That is a mystery. Whew. Well, good to know somebody's doing some work back here. Let's keep going. Well, this just keeps getting a little crazier and crazier. I've always been a little afraid of here because of the pricker brushes in the summertime and the steep hills. Yeah, it's just kind of what I thought it would be like a little bit. I thought it might be a little bit more passable. It is really steep ahead. I can't describe that. That is probably a 75 degree slope. I'll push a little further. I'm getting a little scared. I really don't want to go sliding down. It's probably a good 60 to 80 feet down, but let's keep going. See what other treasures are ahead. That a little rodent den. I don't know if I want to run into anything. I think I've got a pocket knife about six layers deep in clothing. Nice little stream popping out right down there. Just water coming out of the limestone. I think that's one of the key ingredients for making bourbon. Boy. All right, I kind of want to go down to go up this next bit because it's just too dense. So will I make it? Just kind of waiting for you guys to go for a tumble. I don't need to follow. I'm on my butt, sliding. Cool limestone shelf. I probably should really be watching for coyote droppings. Whoa. <laughs> coyote dens, and I don't know what I was thinking, because now that I'm down here, I want to be back up there. <laughs> Whew. Trying to see down to the next curve to see if this gets any better. I don't know if it does. I'll be back. When I said I was down on deer trails, I think what I really am seeing is little rabbit trails. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what other small animals are making those trails. We did see one black American mink last year. That was cool. They're like little black weasels. This is kind of funny. I keep thinking I'm on deer trails and then I realize they go nowhere. So either the deer are drunk or I don't know what a deer trail really looks like. Looks like one to me. Boy, I'm a little out of breath. So I dumped that chair way back 
too hard carrying it in that sign stand. So one thing I'm noticing right now is I'm trying to become more aware of this. I can actually feel my fatigue as I am walking through these woods here. And I can tell my decisions are getting a little sketchier. The reason I bring that up is I just think that's an important thing on owning a large property. Knowing when you've overdone yourself and when to calm down, take a breath, clear your head. Oh, look, and find more metal. What are those? Piston heads? A coffee pot with a red handle? And a bowl. I mean, that's pretty much all I need when I'm out in the woods. A couple piston heads, a coffee pot, and a bowl. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Oh, that's in there. I don't know, with the freeze, I don't know if I can get it out. It looks like, yeah. That's frozen. Looks like a nice coffee pot. There's no way that's coming out. That is locked in. Oh, pretty cool. Make a heck of a coffee mug holder. Red Bull koozie. Hi, this is the new Old Iron Acres beer koozie. Available on Etsy. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a nice desk trophy for a little while. Maybe I'll see if I can try to carry that without getting too exhausted. All right, let's keep going. I'll have to come back for that coffee pot. We continue. Another chair. Nope. That one's not moving in the frost either. Everything is anchored down. So chair, stay. Maybe we'll be back in the spring. Whew. The march continues. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Lost footing. That was a little scary. 50-ish feet down to a cold water bath. I gotta say, I don't really wear these duck brand clothes, you know, the car hearts. These are Wolverine pants that are insulated and a Amazon duck jacket. They really do well when the weather's in the teens. I am somewhat impressed. I thought there would be a lot more garbage thrown down these cliffs. Happy that there isn't. What do you think? So I thought this was gonna be a quick 20 minute little hike. I'm starting to find that it's easier to break the limbs to get them out of my way than it is to push through them and have them climb down the back of my neck. Hey, a nice cedar. We've got a lot of cedar on the property, but it really tends to look pretty straggly to me. Pretty thin. They're not very full and bushy. I like pines and things like that, but these get a bit thin. Okay, now this is interesting. Excuse me. I am seeing two things. One of them is the way the water right down here is swirling. I wonder what's in the water. Just a rock? The other thing is, I don't know how much this fence is helping as it is floating four feet in the air. Over, under. Going under. I don't know if that was brilliant, but I'm through the wire, which means I'm on the other side. So we'll see if we cross again or if the wire just stops. So we're finding some more iron. There's part of something, a tractor piece. There's some type of bezel. I have no idea. Could be a frickin' toaster oven for all I know. Some more down the hill. There's some galvanized metal in the woods. So I've identified another dumping area. Eh, it's not too, too bad. Oh, ah. It's flowing here. Got some big trees down. In the water. So I've heard that there are some 18 inch bass in Floyd's Fork. I've actually never stepped into the water yet on the property. I've always been so busy cleaning other things and catching up on property work, but we do own two kayaks. So I would like to get in there someday. This looks like something I will not get through without a chainsaw. It is just too dense. So I am going to pop out of the woods and see if I can get back in on the other side. Freedom! 
Well, I think I'm gonna actually call that a day because I know where I came out. We should be able to get back in and explore some more. That was a good workout. Good, good little walk. It might, might be fun to take a tiny chainsaw in there and clear out a, a little hiking trail. Well, I thank you for coming along and exploring with me and hope to catch you next time on Old Iron Acres. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ooh, I'm pretty tired. God, I look fat at this angle. <laughs> I might just take a nap right here. Ah, it's peaceful. It looks like I have a little peanut head this big. Camera adds 700 pounds. I'm crushing your head. I hope I'm not laying in deer poop. All right, let's go. Ugh.